Hello to all of my Capricorns and happy Sunday to each and every one of you all. You may be watching this video on the 14th, which is officially the solar eclipse and the new moon in Libra. I had to redo a video for you all because the one before was so dark. I'm going to give you like bits and pieces of what I saw in the first one, but I don't know that it's appropriate for YouTube. Um, there was no profanity in it. It was just really just that dark and just like more, like more in depth of what your ancestors are doing on your behalf. But it was just definitely, you have an ancestor that's definitely not taking the high road when it comes to you. And it was, it was really in depth. It was really dark. And I was like, wow, wait a minute. So, um, not going to release that one. I'll just give you bits and pieces. I don't know that it's appropriate for... I think it would have been flagged. I think it would have, uh, they would have had a major issue with it. So let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Capricorns, let's go. The moon is currently, if you're watching the video on the 14th, obviously it's a solar eclipse, new moon in Libra. You already have those questions, right? But if you're watching it on a Sunday, the 15th, the moon is moving from Libra into Scorpio. So I'm going to give you the questions for Scorpio, okay? Let's get into it, Capricorns. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it. And like I said before, I will give you sprinkles of what I said in a previous video. And I'll try to keep it as um, kind of let your imagination. Because um, I had to go back and listen to it. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Okay. All right, let's go. First card out of the deck is the Four of Wands. Oh, okay. Here we have the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and also the King of Pentacles. Talking to you if you have Capricorn anywhere in your birth chart, including if you're on the cusp of Aquarius or on the cusp of Sagittarius. I am talking to you. All right. So, first card out of the deck is the Four of Wands. So, somebody is definitely um, going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your internal scale so when i talk about scales um libra's rule uh libra's symbol is the scales of justice right um like your your symbol is the is the sea goat theirs is the scale so when i say scales i'm talking about libra right so internally something was throwing you out of balance something was stressing you out had you burned out in a state of confusion all of those things and you decided, hey, I'm going to go ahead and spring forward in faith. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fall back into allowing certain things to burn me out, stress me out, those kind of things. Okay, and that's a good thing. Here we also have the Eight of Swords right here, and so something was literally on somebody, like heavy on somebody's mind, connected to loved ones. Loved ones could be um, uh, uh, family members, like blood relatives, or. Um, or like, you know, friends, like friends, exes, you know, kind of, you know, anybody that you've allowed to get that close to your heart where you felt like, okay, my head and heart are at war with each other. And I feel like I don't understand why certain things have happened because your previous reading was exactly about that, you know, energies who betrayed you in all forms, you know, whether they betrayed you and lied on you, lied to you, set you up or tried to set you up and so on and so forth. And that, that previous reading was about that. All I can tell you from that reading is that um, your loved ones have worked too hard for you to get to this place right here and get to this place right here. And the fact that you're standing on the shoulders of so many people who came before you, Capricorn, and I'm talking to you if you're a man or woman, doesn't matter you know, what your gender is, I'm talking to all Capricorns, right? I'm talking to you even if you've decided, hey, I'm just going, mm, let me check that title out and see what that's about. If you have Capricorn in your birth chart, I'm talking to you as well. Your ancestors worked too hard for you to get to King, Ten of Pentacles and, the, and King of Pentacles, the wealthiest cards in the deck, right? This is legacy wealth. This is where moving through all of these, these phases and cycles and so on and so forth, you know, they put up with a lot of things. They made a lot of, you know, some people, you know how, you know how in, you know, right now you may feel like I'm carrying the weight of my entire, my entire family on my shoulders, Right. And so that's how a lot of people feel. A lot of people feel like they have to be everything for the family. They got to be the first one to graduate from college. They got to be the first one to be the first millionaire in the family. They got to be the first one to start a business, the first one. And that's, that's too much. Everybody has a very specific assignment here on earth, right? And so if you could just focus on staying in your lane and your assignment, you'll get there. And you'll feel like, okay, I lived a great life here on earth. 
you know, and, and when it's time for me to go, I'm ready to go. I'm at peace with it. Right. But a lot of times people feel like, you know, and families do that. They dump everything on one, two kids in the family. And they're supposed to be the, the person that's like dragging generations of people forward. And that's not how it works. So your ancestors specifically said you were the one, like you are the one, right? And the 10 of pentacles. So this is why it's important for the number 10 right here is for you to speak into existence, which you want your legacy to be. I do see you settling down with someone. Somebody has a new and exuberant love in their life. I see you settling down with somebody and you all having a really, really healthy relationship together. I love it. I love it. I love it. And everything is aligned for you perfectly. Everything is lining up for you perfectly. So here we have the ace of pentacles. You've been working really hard on this and, um, all I can tell you is about the energies who have burned you in the past. They're going to have to go through their own karmic cycle of whatever that looks like, right? And um, But something was definitely taken care of on the other side. And, you know, um, a lot of tower moments, a lot of... A lot of, you know, your ancestors getting their lick backs on your behalf so you didn't have to do anything. They just make sure they kept your name clean, kept you clean, all of that. So you can move on in love. It's nothing like taking the high road. Like, I mean, well, it's deeper than taking the high road. Like really just saying, I'm closing out cycles in love. I'm not trying to get anybody back. None of those things. I know their karma will take care of it. So yeah, you've been working really, really hard. So like I said, step right into that 10 of pentacles energy. That's inside the vault right? So five of pentacles, when you're so emotionally wounded, you don't know, you don't know what's going on. I'm so wounded that I don't even know why certain things happen, why people betrayed me, why people are talking about me, why they did this and why they did that. But that is why during new moon phase, just any new moon phase, not just because it's a solar eclipse, we'll talk about that in a second, but no, new moon phase is where you want to always be surrounded by people who genuinely love you. And I mean like agape love, Agape love, people who are telling you it's going to be all right, take the high road, close out cycles in love. You want to be around those types of people because that's what's going to speed up your blessings and always stay in a posture of gratitude. That's what's going to speed it up for you, no matter how hurt your emotions are, because it was literally driving somebody crazy. Like, how come things aren't happening? So you need somebody in your corner that's like, you know, in your in-between time, I can rest my mind. I'm not being blowtorch to the next phase of my life. I'm, I have some time to kind of relax my mind, get some rest, you know, process things, think about things so I can know where I came from and how they were energies that betrayed me, lied on me, set me up, did all these other things. And so now I can comfortably, you know, open up my vault door without two types of energies going through there. So congratulations to you. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. So Yep, Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups and the Fool card, right? There's definitely some energies that feel like a fool. They feel really, really bad at this point. But again, not your problem. We're just going to keep it pushing. Uh, Ten of Swords, they did this. They let people stand around and talk negatively about you. They stood around. Like I said, we're just walking it backwards, right? They definitely was clown behavior. And for whatever reason, they made a foolish decision to betray you, right? In their, in their lack of wisdom. So that's the opposite of wisdom is fool, foolery. They were into Tom foolery, right? So source is saying to you, they didn't expect for you to survive some things. They didn't expect for you to survive. So now they got to pay the piper. Right. And so, like I said, you got an ancestor on the other side waiting. And that's all I can tell you. And that, when I say that video was really, really dark, I was like, OK. Uh, who great grandmother is this? <laughs> so anyway, here we have the Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords. Um, yeah. And like I said, everything is perfectly lined up for you. Ten of Swords, you know, and um, somebody definitely wanted you, like, like I said, set up. Like they wanted you locked up. They wanted you something, you know, worse happened to you. Like you're no longer here. Like they were some people were into some stuff. And so, and you was walking through life with blindfolds on, just couldn't see it. But the reason why, the reason why some of y'all, so usually with the two of swords, the person is very guarded, super serious, fly off the handle, sometimes comes across as, you know, about to mentally break. So you could be going off on the wrong person 
And so source is saying to you, when you when you are in a ten of swords energy and your your two of swords energy and your eight of swords energy, you really are not aware of what you're doing. That's why sometimes people will come back to you years later and say, "Wow, I knew something was wrong. I knew that wasn't you. Like you had to be going through something because the way you were just out here just doing X, Y, and Z and saying certain things and such and such and such and such, I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing because when you're in that low of a state. And that's where that term hurt people hurt people. You don't even realize how you come across to other people. And that's why I talk about, you know, keeping yourself hydrated. You're an earth sign. You want to always make sure the seeds that you plant in your garden, you want to keep them or you want to stay around high vibrating energies. And so use this time right now and before you step into this enormous amount of wealth that's coming your way to keep your vibrations high. Please do not be tempted to go backwards with energies where you're getting your rest and you feel like, okay, it's just boring. It's just too good to be true. Yeah, that's a good thing, right? Get your rest. Your third eye is wide open now. Source is saying stay as far away from hotheads. There could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Source is saying stay as far away from hot-headed energy. Your third eye is wide open. Sometimes people feel like they need a little, they, you know, they need a little motivation or a little, you know, fire up under them. Don't get used to people blow torching you. You're not that zodiac sign. Um, divine feminine energies need time to process. And that's men and women. You need time to process your thoughts. You need time to collect your thoughts, right? And because you all are earth signs, you want to make sure your earth, when you're inviting people into your universe, that they're not, what's not, what's growing in there is not a bunch of weeds, a bunch of, um, so, so for instance, because source has you on this path of, okay, so because source has you on this path of wealth that your ancestors worked really really hard for you to get here sometimes in your desperation to even pay your bills you may say okay i'll take a job that i would normally take right and i could tell you that again your ancestors blocked it because a type of a job that somebody may have been have taken is legal but it would be equivalent to maybe a new law or something was passed and it could go either way, right? So what I mean by that is, let's say, you know, like in a lot of uh, tri-state areas in the United States, what's legal in one state, as soon as you cross the, the that line, it's illegal in another state, right? And so you may have thought, okay, I need, I need money, you know, because I know the money is coming. I know my wealth is coming, but I, I need money today. Like I need to be able to take care of my bills today, right? And so an opportunity may have come across you, but your ancestor says no, because somebody was praying on your downfall. So part of what I mentioned in the previous video is sometimes how your ancestors will come through. Like for instance, if you're headed somewhere and you say, gosh, I left my keys in the house. Like let's say you're leaving the house and you're with your family and you say, okay, gosh, I left my keys in the house. I'll be right back. Let me rush in the house. They're trying to get you alone to try to get a message to you. Cause sometimes we're so busy, we miss things, right? Sometimes you forget to jot down your dreams. And that's why I tell you, you know, when you wake up, if you wake up at like in the middle of the night or whatever, a little groggy, what's the first thing on your mind? Pull out your cell phone, open up your notes section, jot that down. Cause I guarantee you by the time you wake up at your regular time, you would have forgotten what you that thought was, right? So you want to be able to read that and also Google it. Okay, dream interpretation. What does this mean, right? So they've been in the midst the whole time because it's legacy. You're the one that's making the family name proud. Or let's say you're on your way, you're driving somewhere and there's a delay. And you're like, gosh, you know, I'm going to be late, so on and so forth. They're trying to get a message through to you, whether you're listening to a podcast or listening to, you know, uh, reading a book and audible and all of a sudden a particular part of the story just jumps out at you or um, you're listening to a radio station and something about the song, the, the words of the songs, you know, just or the, the, the vibration of sound through the melody reminds you of something. They're trying to get messages through to you because they're very, very proud of you. 
So when I tell you, and like I said, there's no need for me to put the video up. I'm only giving you sprinkles of what I said in the previous video. When I tell you that there is a loved one who on this, when they were on this side, there was a lot of people who would have been ashamed by some of the stuff that they, they came out of their mouth because they were into everything. When I say everything, everything, dark magic, putting hexes on people, all kinds of stuff. And a lot of people don't want to hear that about their own family members, but, um, they certainly are working on your behalf on the other side to make sure you, you know, pass on, you know, like you make the, the family name proud. You make, am I saying it right? That you are the one that people, everybody's proud of you. Let me just say it that way. Here we have the Ace of Cups. So protect your heart, protect your, your creativity, protect your emotions, protect all of that. So please don't get tired of, you know, when you, you're in spaces where you feel like you're really nurtured right now, don't look at it as boring because Source is trying to get you to a place where you can think, take advantage of new moon energy. You already came out of that last quarter moon phase. People were exposed. People Source exposed the Judas. Even the ones that were standing by letting people talk negatively about you, Source exposed all of that. Do not go back. Block numbers, whatever. Just this is your downtime to just keep your mind fresh. Let me think about all of this because it's going to make a difference in who you choose for your legacy wealth. It's going to make all the difference in the world. You pick the, You choose the wrong person because you feel like, oh, life is too quiet right now. It's boring. I don't have a whole bunch of movement going on. And that energy will take you for everything. And Source is trying to prevent that. So let Source keep exposing people. You may be mad at some people along the way because they're telling you some things. But you're, I'm telling you, I can't stress it enough. Your ancestors work way too hard for you to get away from some, like I said, clown behavior. So somebody's definitely going to feel like a changed person. You're going to feel liberated and free from some things. So if you've been looking for, you know, a job or something and something didn't, you know, something didn't pan out, be grateful. That's your ancestors. It's like, we're not going to let you get involved in something where something happens and then all of a sudden you know what i'm saying like that kind of thing so anyway here we have the queen of cups the nine of swords the six of swords the justice card we also have the knight of cups and also the eight of swords it's two energies in particular right two energies here we are on both sides of the scales you're focusing on your peace of mind that's why i said even if it seemed like it's boring right now boring is rich is real good <laughs> you're not trying to have a bunch of drama and activities going on around you right now you need a clear a clear mind. And speaking of drama, since this video is dated for the 15th of the month, the number 15 um, um, means that you have a great magnetism and you carry enchantment in everything that you do. It means that you are aligned with music, drama, and or art with a charisma and a flair that makes you compelling. Um, you attract prosperity and also you attract people who want to help you with gifts and favors, right? So this money is very attractive to people, which is people have seen all over you. Something about your personality, people want to hang out with you, people want to do all these things. That is why in your in-between time of closing out that last cycle that we were in and just being in this new moon phase with solar eclipse, this one, we only have a few solar eclipse a year, and that solar eclipse is a reset, right? So in this major reset, in this new you, Source is saying to you, make sure you get used to a great life, a life, a peaceful life, right? Because Ven uh, Libra is ruled by Venus and Venus, when it's aligned, it's a peacemaker energy. It's an aesthetically pleasing life. It's a life where everything is just like, wow, I can't believe how balanced out my life is. I had to go through all of that just to get here. I feel like it's too good to be true. So if you go backwards to bring in energies that source has exposed to either cheating on you, betraying you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, standing around and letting people talk negatively about you, the only person you can blame for pushing yourself away from this King of Pentacles energy is yourself. Here we have the Nine of Swords. And so nine of swords is like somebody came out of a nightmare and all of these cards right here, somebody was caught slipping, had on blindfolds, was too, you know, down in the dumps to even see what was going on, swinging your swords left and right, you know, not, didn't realize who you were hurting. And that's why I said to you, people who genuinely love you, they would have always been there for you regardless. They would have just said, okay, I see something is different about you. But we still love you regardless. We may have to keep some distance because you're around some very toxic energies, but it's okay. Eight of Swords. 
Mm -hmm. Eight of Swords. Somebody's um somebody from somebody from your past would love to see, you know, something, you know, some kind of like you being arrested or incarcerated or something. Again, only take what resonates with you, right? So there's two energies in particular that you released. They don't want to have that you don't want to have anything to do with. They would love to see something happen, but that's not going to happen. Justice is actually in your favor. And again, you've done you're done with the clown behavior. You're done with people who are who love to have drama around them. If you're gonna pay for some drama, you're going to a Broadway play, off Broadway play, maybe the local play or to a show or something. That's the only kind of drama you involved in. You don't want to be involved in all that other stuff. So you learn how to save yourself, right? You learn how to save yourself. And Source is saying to you, you know, in this downtime where it's quiet, sit down and just kind of with that, like right before the moon was in Libra, it was in Virgo. Sit down with a notepad. And I mentioned this when the moon was, before the moon was in Virgo, when the moon was in Leo moving into Virgo. So sit down and review that list of things. For those of you all who are new, Virgo is a um, very meticulous sign that likes to take like list, like create list, right? And mark off the checklist, right? Okay, well, this and that and like very meticulous uh, perfectionist, right? So, but from a very objective and a very practical standpoint, not wanting to be attached to drama. So when you list, when you look at people, places, and things, and you start trying to sift through things, even the people that were trying to warn you about things that you may have felt like, I'm just so overwhelmed with so much drama. I don't need to hear all of this, who is going to do this to me and who's trying to do that to me and so on and so forth. You'll find out that source was actually using them to when you got to this point to you where you are right now where you got a quiet peace of mind and surrounded by a lot of love and peace where you can process some things in preparation for you to get here to an enormous amount of wealth and also in a romantic relationship with your person your actual person that they also had your best interest at heart so even in your in your in your despair if you had hit them with a swords with some arguments or unkind words or whatever and we're talking about loved ones they still love you they already forgave you so that's not that's not a heaviness you need to carry on your shoulder you just need to be aware because even they have feelings too so source is saying this has been an uphill climb for you uphill battle but you're entering into a season of rebirth right so here's how all of this ties in so libra is ruled by venus which is the goddess of love and pleasure in all forms art music aesthetics you know, relationships of all kind, erotic love, everything, right? What you're leaving behind are people that are green with envy, people who are quite vengeful. They only want to see the worst happen in your life. You know, if you ever met anybody, uh, a Capricorn, that will say to you, I can't, I, I can't move until I see them get their, their karma. They don't even know what karma means. Karma is not good or bad. It just is. And they're sitting around waiting for uh, justice, their type of justice. But guess what? When you detached, however you detach, whether it was a gentle detachment or forcibly detached because the, the scales have been ripped from your eyes, forcibly ripped from your eyes and you were just shocked. I cannot believe this person would do this to me. I just, I can't believe it. In either case, you detach from that, um, their, their universe, right? And so the longer and longer you're away from that universe, the clearer and clearer it becomes. Like, wow, I didn't even realize I was walking around with blindfolds on. That's why it's been an uphill battle for somebody, uphill climb. And this number six right here, this video is dated for the sixth of the, um, let me just first of all say, so the light side, that I explained to you what the light side of 15 is. So the dark side of 15 is a person who is indecisive. They keep going up and down this hill. Up and down, I'm up the hill, and then I'm going backwards. I got to I gotta go back to the same thoughts about, okay, they hurt me, but what if they were going through some things and they didn't mean to hurt me? Trust, they meant to hurt you, and trust, God exposed it. So, source is saying, have compassion, but keep on going up that, going up the hill, going up, 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 up. The number six is in a shape of a person who is about to give birth to abundance and prosperity, whether it's a baby, a physical baby, or whether it's a book, a music project, a, 
uh, a, a career that you've been working because remember ace of pentacles you've been working really really hard for it right and so source is definitely going to make somebody very very wealthy and kind of put you out there in a space where again all source had to do was do some cleanup in your life because somebody really did not want to see believe certain things that's why our source had to remove you to remove you from some environments and hurt somebody like allow your heart to be at war because source was actually exposing your demons. If your demons were demons of fear, doubt, uncertainty, um, some kind of an addiction, whether it was a sex addiction, alcohol, substance, whatever source had to expose that. Or if you had an incubus or succubus in your life, source had to expose that, right? So incubus or succubus doesn't mean that you were sleeping with them. You could have been friends with them. But if you were in close proximity, guess who got um, contaminated with their energy? You, right? Thinking that you had to be in certain spaces around certain types of people, but you it would have been something would have been over your head being attached to those energies. So... Source had to teach you how to save yourself to get away from that, even if you got away with a broken heart and just deeply disappointed. Source had to get you away from that type of energy. So be grateful. And like I said, you have compassion because there's some people who are having to pay for it now. Like I said, justice is in your favor. You're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. Um, and you're done, you're done completely with clown behavior. Just done. Done. People who like drama in their lives, they can't survive without drama. Do not get used to that. There's no paycheck attached to it. And there's some roles you still wouldn't take because it involves, you know, violence, right? So you're trying to live, you're trying to live your best life, the life that you're, like I said, your ancestors worked so hard for. It seemed like for some people, it seems like you just gliding through life. But I'm telling you, you learn how to swim in murky waters. People assume that Capricorns just, just go through life easy. But source is saying, no, you had to go, you had to sift through those emotions. That's that water of people that you've allowed to get close to you. So now you're going to be very careful about who you allowed to get close to you. Very, very careful. It's too much money at stake. People will take you to court and try to sue you for money. Just frivolous lawsuits. They'll do all kinds of stuff, try to set you up, you know, and that's why you see, that's why you see some celebrities you know, men and women could be standing in an elevator together and that person got both of their hands right in front of them. They're like, mm -mm, I don't even want to look like I, t I don't even want somebody to Photoshop something <laughs> like, you know, and that's why you see some people, they, they, they don't talk a whole lot. They're like, mm -mm, nope, because you got some people out here and some people have, they learn right away. And some people, you know, it takes them longer to learn. But in any case, somebody is definitely learning. Here we also have the Hierophant card. Somebody has an innate spiritual understanding of exactly which clowns are trying to, you know, trying to um, harm you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, right? You know, people who are very stubborn, people who are very jealous and envious. They see your life going well. They see you have a good heart. It's a shame that people will try to take advantage of people who have a good heart, but they do. So it's just saying, be grateful that it's behind you. Stay in a posture of gratitude. Source, thank you. Like I said before, you have compassion, but they're outside of your universe. You don't even need to have compassion for them because when they reach that frequency, they'll feel it. That you all, your, your mission, when you're on your throne, because there's so much, there's so much in the universe where people can lift each other up. Why would people try to tear somebody down because somebody has a good heart? That's a rhetorical question. You don't even need to ask it. So it's, it's two energies in particular. Like I said before, they really definitely wanted to see harm to you. Jealous, envious, the whole nine yards. But like I said, here we have the tower card. They're experiencing a tower moment. Everything is falling down around them. Things are not going well for them at all. Things are not going well for them at all. Just clowns. Anybody that is their crown chakra is aligned, you'll know that you'll know that their crown chakra is aligned. Well, I mean, for several reasons. I mean, you got your in, you're listening to your intuition, all those things. But those energies really want you to shine just as much as they're shining. They're looking for ways to help you find the light within yourself so that you can get to your throne. Right. They're not looking for ways to tear you down. Oh, I think I'm better than you are or you know, making little shady deals behind the scenes to keep you levels below them. And, you know, 
in this, I, I think I, I, and I mentioned this to you all months ago that I could see in a spiritual sense where there were some people having a meeting and somebody was like, oh, I'm really looking at Capricorn. I really want to work with Capricorn or whatever. And a very person that you thought was a friend that look out for you was shaking their head. No, you just happen to come by and see it right away. See, you may not physically have done that, but for somebody watching this video, they know exactly what it was. You could have had a dream about it and didn't get, you know, didn't fully understand the dream. Like, no, nah, that person would never betray me. But then you hear the same thing on this video. I didn't know you had the dream. And then you say, oh, my God, I just had a dream about such and such. And now it's happening today that source had to do something where somebody else had to tell you something that somebody betrayed you. Now it's going to start making sense. So sources and when you think about certain types of energies, you know that when you're thinking about certain types of energies and your vibrations go that low, it's time to go ahead and just release them. When you start saying things like, oh, they're not smart or they just stupid, they don't, they don't catch on quick or whatever the case may be, they could have a lot of manipulation around them when you're kind of sort of passing it off. It's like, okay, that's just being passive. They don't know what they're up to. They don't know what they're doing. But other people are telling you, yes, they do. So somebody's going to start paying attention. Here we have the Seven of Cups. This is Temptation. Temptation, somebody is definitely tempted to go back to something that you've outgrown. I'm telling you, if you go back to something where sources already shared, showed that you, that they betrayed you, forgiveness does not mean that you forgot. Forgiveness is for you. I'm not hanging, I'm not, I'm not bringing that bag of, of unforgiveness and hurt and all of that, that somebody, um, their hurt that they projected onto you and your soil. I'm not bringing any of that into my universe. I got to make room for this enormous amount of wealth and creative ideas for my legacy and see how I can change people's lives. I'm not bringing any part of you in my universe. Once source expose, expose them, you know, to you sources that don't bring that energy into your universe. So that's what I'm saying here, but somebody is definitely tempted almost like they just, some of you all are going to be like, Oh, absolutely not. I'm not going backwards, but there's always, there's always, remember this is a general reading, there's always instances where a person may, because the enemy is very crafty, um, very crafty, there's always instances where a person may go, well, that's a family member, what is it going to really hurt? It's like a person who just hasn't gotten hurt enough. And the only person you're hurting is yourself because you're delaying your own, the own, your own release of your wealth. So let's see what else we got going on here, Capricorns. So yeah. Somebody was definitely walking around with blinders on, like didn't want to see certain things. And that really, that really comes from just being really hurt and deeply disappointed, you know, and things and just saying, I'm a good person. I mean, good by people. And I just keep getting hurt, you know, by people. Um, but now you're awake, you know, and you're hurt people hurt. That's what the, the whole sign, you know, hurt people, comma, hurt people. That's where that comes from. So somebody is definitely going to be mindful of not checking out and wearing blindfolds because maybe your heart is broken in love or your heart is broken in friendship, that you're not actually hurting people who have agape love for you and that would be there for you no matter what. Those are the people you don't want to lose. And that's sometimes what put, it pushes people away. So, you know, you're like, wow, I didn't even realize I was so hurt. I was hurting people around me. I was literally pushing people away who love me. So don't go backwards. Don't go backwards. Because if you thought that snake bite was bad the first time, you know. Here we have the Emperor card. That's how the Emperor was born. The Emperor card, the, the uh, Eight of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Chariot card, and the Strength card. Mm-hmm. Emperor card. So this lets me know that there could be, for some of you all, there could be an Aries that's ha having a, there could be an Aries or a Taurus or a Leo that's having a, um, and a Cancer who is having a, a tower moment right now and things are not working out well for them. You may have cut off a Leo, you may have cut off a Cancer, you may have cut off a Taurus or close to cutting off a Taurus. You could have cut off, a, did I say Leo? Yeah, Leo, Aries, uh, could be a Scorpio. Some people are going through it right now and you're feeling it. So the way your body may feel it though is that you may feel sick to your stomach. 
When we talk about the number 15, one in five is six, and six is in the shape of a person who is about to give birth to something. And so you may go through the same, and I'm talking to men and women, the same feeling sick to your stomach or really tired, you know, like a pregnant person will go through, um, you know, feeling nauseous and really tired and just kind of sort of want to isolate. I just need some time to just relax my body and my mind. Like it just came out of something. My body is just working extra hard to put all of this energy and attention on the baby or the book that I'm about to give birth to or the music project that I'm about to give birth to or, you know, my mind has just been going all over the place. I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm on the cuffs for something really big. I'm not sure what that's going to look like once I've given birth to either the baby, which obviously is a human being in human form, or the book, or when I move into a new place or move to a new job or new something that you're stepping into. I'm not really sure what that looks like for me. It can cause a lot of anxiety. A lot of anxiety can literally make, make you sick to your stomach. But that's where Pluto comes in. So Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. This is uh, one of Scorpio's ruling planets, and this is Aries' ruling planet. It's Mars. That's the tower card. So Mars is the energy planet. So that's what I'm saying to you. Don't go back to something that you've outgrown. Like, don't be tempted to call somebody or don't be tempted to, you know, um, check on them in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Thinking that you're taking the high road. Oh, I'm just taking the high road. Maybe I didn't know they were going through all of that. Maybe that's why they betrayed you. No, they betrayed you because they wanted to betray you. Don't get it twisted. They betrayed you because they wanted to, right? And even if they were in a zombified state, not realizing that they were hurt, hurting you, you keep your distance. You can have compassion from a distance because you're too busy trying to heal your sword wounds. So just like I said right here, Knight of Swords, get on your horse and your car, your buggy, your jet, your, your ski, your jet skis, whatever, and get as far away from them as possible because you don't know what stage of hurt they're in to betray you the way that they betrayed you. You just stay away. They'll realize that, wow, all of this stuff is happening. I didn't even realize I was hurting that many people around me. Either they'll do one or two things. Eventually, they'll get to the healing part, but sometimes it takes people a long time. Sometimes they have to literally hit rock bottom and source knows like extending grace on their way down. Sometimes that's as subtle as, wow, I feel bad that I hurt Capricorn. But if they're that far gone, it may take literally losing everything before they wake up. Or at least the, the threat of losing everything before they wake up. So source is saying, go on about your business, stay focused on your purpose and write out a list of all the things that you're grateful for, right? All the things that you're still grateful for. You have, you're have, you not harboring any anger, animosity, no none of that in your heart for them. Just steer clear of them for good. Four of Pentacles. So be conservative because this right here and this right here will cause you to go right back into something. I got, why am I thinking about them? Why all of a sudden, you know, why am I thinking about them? Source is saying you're thinking about them because of that snake bite. That's why you're thinking. Anybody get bit by a snake and you don't know if that thing going to take you out of here or was it a, ven a, you know, a non-venomous snake? So that was the non-venomous bite, the betrayal. Next time it'll be venomous. So we have a lot of ancestors around you trying to prevent you from that happening. That's why I said if you late delayed, something didn't work out, be grateful because you got a lot of help around you trying to help you, you know, with some things. Listen, tune into that inner voice because you got some very vengeful spirits out here. And when you're hurt, they are showing no mercy, no grace. You could have been depressed trying to decide if you want to make it the next day. They could care less. All they know is that to some degree, you either cut them off or um, bruise their ego. Like somebody right now is mad at you because you weren't attracted to them. How in the world are you going to know that when you're depressed? You, you don't, in your mind, you don't think... You didn't think you were hurting them by just simply saying, I just see you as like a brother or sister. Their ego wouldn't let it rest though. Oh, they're not attracted to me. Everybody else is attracted to me. They're not attracted to me. Oh, I got to get them back. It could be something as simple as that. They hurt and they're trying to hurt everything in their path and they find out you have a good heart. Okay, I got them. So nothing is yet set in stone. So source is saying, when we talk about mutable energy here, make sure you're going with sources flow. This is the main, this is, don't go back to this. Because you're real tempted right now. Somebody is in that temptation because we're in a brand new space. We're in a new, uh, by the time you see this video, it will be in a new moon phase. 
So that new, there's a lot of anxiety with that. You start kind of missing the old. And I remember sharing good news with this person. And I remember this and remember that. So it's just like, you better remember move, how they, <laughs> how that, how those, uh, those fangs came out and bit you. You better, if you want to remember something, remember that. Oh, that's right. I forgive them, but I'm not, I'm not calling them. I'm, I forgot to block the number. Because it can go either way for somebody. And you all are, uh, you all are cardinal signs and cardinal signs it can go either way you can either be fixated on moving forward or kind of like mm, let me let me kind of sort of peek my head back in and see that's not where you want to peek your head back in so it's a time to give rather than a time to take so this is where you really really give yourself your own flowers like give yourself some kudos you know pat yourself on the back for being strong enough but for just even moving forward remember forgiveness doesn't mean you forgot you got to heal from all of this pain. This is some serious overthinking going on. Put all of that thinking into your future. Not about going backwards to that. Because everything is, it, literally everything is lined up for you. Just waiting for you to just get to wherever you're going. New job, new love interest, new whatever. So reframe. This is happening for me, not to me. That's right. The amount of resources that source is trying to send somebody's way is really going to change a whole lot of people's lives, create jobs and opportunities. So this is not just, you know, you know, get rich and just be selfish. This is get wealthy and help bring other people up to their, um, you know, to their throne as well and adjust their help them to adjust their own crown. You've always had leadership in you. Here we have affirmations for love. I am connected to all love and all light. I welcome all forms of authentic love into my life. I deserve to love and be loved. I love myself as I am. All is love and I am loved. I approve of myself. I am enough. My heart is full of love. I share love with those around me. In short, sources is saying to you, Capricorn, don't stop being a good person. Just become wiser so you don't have to put on blindfolds. So it doesn't have to go that far where you have to keep being hit with swords before you believe it. Source is saying, I'm trying to make your life a life that you only dreamed of. Where people want to give inf give you information and to help you make, become wealthier and wealthier and wealthier. wealthier. Source is trying to change your whole mindset. So if you interacting with another person who's on their throne and they adjust their crown and you need a favor done... You're not going to pay for a price. They're not going to let you pay for a price. They want you to be a part. Like, you know, they want to give you stuff in exchange for, okay, depending on what you're, depending on what industry you're in, they may say, here, um, wear my product. That's going to, because you're wearing it, it's going to increase our sales. I actually pay you to wear this. <laughs> so, you know, or pay you to market this, right? So sources say, stay connected to people who, are not trying to um because it looked like somebody has been so hurt it's so hurt by people closest to you that you really don't trust anybody and you got some good i'm telling you some really good people out here that really want to help you to adjust your crown because they're already there they don't see you as competition at all they see you as a person who is trying and a person who has been hurt. That's what they see you as. And let me let me reach out and help Capricorn. So when I tell you to use this time, if you're in a rest state, you should be resting because it's new moon energy, right? So you should be relaxing somewhere. And make sure you're around people who are making your favorite foods. Or if, they, if you don't have anybody to make your favorite foods, treat yourself. Go to the gym. Spend quiet time. Hug a tree. Go to a park, lake, something like with yourself and just start thinking about all the stuff that you've come out of. You made it. Don't take that for granted because this could again, this could, this, all of this could have gone left. 29, I am insightful. You are highly intuitive and creative, Capricorn. Your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. Yeah. There's some energies that either you were married to or wanted to marry you or they just felt like they felt some people's egos were bruised. That's all I can tell you. And sometimes when you're that depressed and you can come across as super ser serious and melancholy that if a person is flirting with you and you just kind of brush them off, all of a sudden they become vengeful because maybe you're the first person that kind of gave them a reality check that everybody's not interested in you, that kind of thing, right? And some people are vengeful for life. They'll do things that you never even imagined. You're like, I didn't even realize that person was that wicked. 
I didn't even realize what I did was that bad. So that's what I have for you, Capricorns. Like I said, keep on winning. Like I said, it's from the, some of the first cards that came out was a 10 and King of Pentacles. When I tell you the source is trying to make you very wealthy and very influential and very well connected, somebody needs to stay focused, laser focused. That's what I have for you. And I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye. Oh, Capricorns, before I shut this down, right? I forgot to give you all the questions. So I'm gonna have to add, I'm gonna edit this onto your video, right? So here's the first question for the moon and Scorpio. First question is, what are the stories of your ancestors, um, comma, your past lives? Um, and so the second question is, where do you need to go to heal your connection with your roots? Third question is, do you feel truly empowered in your relationships and your career? Fourth question is, is there a deep trauma that you need to look at, heal, release during this moon? And then last but not least is, who are the people, meaning the therapists, the healers, and so on, who can help you to dive deeper? Those are the questions. Again, like I said before, do whatever you need to do during this time to heal because Source is about to turn it up. And I'm talking about meaning in a very good way, a very healthy way. Please do not go back. If Source exposed people around you who, you know, who put you at war with your own family, loved ones, people who wanted to support you, who betrayed you or stood around and let other people betray you, do not go back to those energies at all because you're only pushing, you're only delaying your own wealth. Get in that emperor energy. I care more about being respected than being liked. I'm putting my energy into my purpose. That's it. Source exposed whomever. I'm grateful and I'm getting to work, doing the things that I love to do, making an impact on your community and the world at large. And you got your person that source has exposed to you as being your person right there beside you. Family is important to you all. Your wealth is important to you all. Making a difference in your community and the world at large is important to you all. And so you have a real opportunity to live a life that you've always loved to live where everybody around you connected to you. As again, you're connected to all love and all light where people are at least respectful of each other. You know, so what I mean by that is like, let's say your parents are divorced or um, whatever. Um, you, you don't have that, that if they have to come together, even if they have new spouses or whatever, everybody's respectful of each other because it's all love. It's no, it's no tension in the room. Everybody's respectful because they don't, they want to be a part of your life, but we're talking about somebody you could have dated or whatever the case may be causing all kinds of chaos and confusion. Uh, just narcissistic energy. Narcissists will come in and ruin your, in all of your relationships with your friendships your family, everything. So Source is saying, now that you have time to rest and process those things, don't go back to something because it seems like it's boring. This is the time when you got to look at it at this way. When I had those energies in my universe, I couldn't even see the amount of wealth that was trying to come my way. Now you have an enormous amount of room to fill your universe up with wealth, wealth of knowledge, wealth of prosperity, um, wealth of discernment, wealth of knowledge, um, and also to make room to connect with other people's universes as well, to create jobs and opportunities for those people. So it's go time for you. It is go time. That's what I have for you. Hopefully those questions will help you. Um, and that's it. All right. Bye.